says, hey, Zach, who are your favorite basketball players, both of all time and current, and why do you like them? Uh, when I when I you know first read this question, a couple guys came to my mind. Number one is obviously Kobe Bryant. Um, to, to me, the thing about Kobe was his work ethic that always really really impressed me and really really inspired me. He inspired so many people. Kobe Bryant's work ethic was always big to me as a kid. I also always loved Tim Duncan and uh, Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, both of those guys are kind of they're the kind of guys you want in your building. They're quiet. They're good leaders. They're they listen. They're coachable. Tim Duncan and Dirk Nowitzki are awesome guys that I think are legends in Texas. They'll be Texas legends forever. They're a really big deal. Um, now, this is really, really cliche. I think a lot of people are going to get mad at me for this, honestly. But my favorite NBA player, both current and all time, is LeBron James. It just is. Um, I grew up watching LeBron. And I always liked watching him as a kid. My dad and I would watch him. It was fun. Um, I, I, but for me... As I've grown up, my appreciation for LeBron has also grown. Uh, people forget where LeBron James came from. It's funny, like, everybody hates on people that are rich and famous and successful, but that's not where LeBron James came from. LeBron James is you and I who made it. He's a guy like you and I who, I mean, look, we're not six foot eleven or six foot nine, whatever, however big he is. We're not LeBron James, we never will be. But LeBron James was a kid from Akron, Ohio. With a single mother. He's not a guy from a ton of wealth. He's not a guy. He's just a dude who chased his dreams, was incredibly good at basketball, but he's not just incredibly gifted. I mean, he worked his butt off to get where he is. You also have to remember LeBron James has been famous since he was in high school. Can you imagine? I was an idiot when I was 17. I was literally like the, the worst. <laughs> I cannot fathom if I was incredibly famous at 17 years old. It's embarrassing to look back and think about that. And fame is hard to deal with. I, I am not famous at all, but I do have a lot of followers and I've got a lot of eyeballs on me at the very least. And I feel tremendous pressure. And I'm not even, I'm not even like, nobody cares who I am. I just am a guy with like 100 and almost, I think 128,000 subscribers on YouTube. I have a bunch of followers on Instagram. That's it. And for me, that's a lot of pressure. I can't imagine having national news talk about you all the time in high school. Can you imagine? I, it's unbelievable to me. Getting a lot of attention can mess with your head. And here's what's so cool about LeBron James. He's not perfect. He's not. But LeBron James has handled the fame and the attention really, really both graciously and responsibly. I mean, the dude is a shining example of what to do. A lot of guys get a lot of money and a ton of fame. And they start doing a lot of crazy stuff. Crazy cars, women, spending money left and right, doing all kinds of ridiculous stuff. LeBron James is not that. Instead, he's a good example. He's a family man. I mean, one of my favorite things LeBron James does is he has Taco Tuesday on his Instagram story. Where he has dinner and taco night with his family. Taco Tuesday. Like, it's fun. He's a fun, entertaining, interesting dude who has been massively successful, but he's handled it really, really well. And he's a good example to people out there. If you, if you end up like LeBron James, do it the way he's done. He's a responsible businessman. He's a family man. I love watching LeBron James on the court. He's fun to watch play basketball. But I'm even more fascinated in LeBron James, the guy off the court, and the way he carries himself, who he is, how he's handled his success and his fame. I, I, if I'm honest, LeBron James is my favorite player of all time. I love the guy. I know people hate on him. A lot, a lot of people hate him. I, I don't, I just, for me, I, I'm a guy, I appreciate his greatness. I appreciate his success, and I really enjoy watching him on the court. Um, and I enjoy watching who he is off the court, too. He's just in a, seems like a kind of guy that, um, again, not perfect, but he, has, he seems like he's got good intentions, and uh, I just respect that about him. I do. Uh, one of my favorite things he's ever done, this is very silly. It's a weird tangent. Um, there's a movie called Trainwreck where LeBron James plays himself. He's a side character, and it's so awesome. He helps... Oh, who's, what's the guy, the actor's name? I forget the actor's name, but he helps this guy. He's like the guy's friend, his trainer. And uh, it's it's got Amy Schumer, but it's really not. For me, the movie's all about LeBron James and this dude. LeBron James helps this guy get the girl. It's so much fun for me. It's called Trainwreck. It's an awesome movie. Um, and I recommend you see it. If you haven't, go watch Trainwreck. It's got LeBron James in it. It's really, really fun. And uh, it's one of my, it's not a favorite movie of mine of all time or anything, but it was one of those moments where I went, oh, that's cool. Hey, LeBron, you're in this movie. And it was, <laughs> it was fun. I don't know. I enjoyed it. 
In case you don't know, Strong Opinion Sports is not just a YouTube channel. It is also a full audio podcast. You can find it on Spotify, on iTunes, on Google Play, pretty much everywhere you find podcasts. And if you like podcasts, please do me a huge favor and give it a listen.